everybody and welcome to another video. This is something a little different that we don't always do over here, but I'm going to be showing you a little introduction to CAD software. This is called Tinkercad. All right, so here we are. We're over here at the Tinkercad website. Uh, you just go to www.tinkercad.com. Now, they came to me and said, hey, would you like to make a video for us? Uh, we'll sponsor it. We'll pay for it. Um, just introduce it to the people. And I was like, I don't know. So I checked out the website, looked it up, because I knew nothing about it. And after I looked it up, um, I actually watched a couple videos on it. I seen uh, Wizard Keen had a video on it, and I was like, dude, this is this is pretty cool. If there's not enough people to know about this, I got to get it out there. So I, I got back in touch with them. I said, yeah, I'll do it. So thanks to Tinkercad for showing us this and sponsoring this video. Uh, anyway, this is Tinkercad. Basically, this is stuff that like engineers would use um, architects would use CAD software and what they've done is made it real easy for you guys to get a hold of it's free you don't download anything you just go to this website and check it out bam I made this with this Tinkercad software so it's all done right here on the website and, and you just get to make cool stuff I made this castle did you see that download from Minecraft now Squishball has been um, messing with this stuff as well and he's got a handle of it and maybe we'll do some more stuff What's that on my screen? <laughs> Just do some more stuff to uh, introduce you guys or show you guys some more things on Tinkercad software. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what other people have made. So I went ahead and I already downloaded this one right there because that looks awesome. And basically, with Tinkercad software, uh, you can create these awesome images and put them in your Minecraft world on PC. Um, now, you could do it onto the Xbox and maybe PlayStation, but we use MC Edit uh, to help us get this stuff over to, to Minecraft. Now, MC Edit is still in the process of working on Xbox and PlayStation software, so I don't know when that's going to be available. But for right now, you can import this stuff into your Minecraft world using Tinkercad software, MC Edit, and then uploading it to your, your PC Minecraft world. Over here is a nice blog area. We'll get to that. Anyways, so you can pick from all kinds of cool things. You go to the gallery. You got new stuff. You got all kinds of interesting things. It's taking a little while to load on my, my internet is right now. Really bad. Um, people make all kinds of cool stuff. I really just really like this guy's, uh, right there is his name. See that? Oh. Trutzel Betts. Or Trutzel Beats. Yeah, Betts. Trutzel Betts. Anyways, Poe Demarin's X-Wing Starfighter looks fabulous. And so I went ahead and downloaded it. It didn't come out the way that I wanted to exactly, so we, we can mess with a few things. Now, like if you see here, you would really want these to be at least one block. Um, and that translates right here. Millimeters equals one Minecraft block. And we'll get to that as we're building. So let's go ahead and we'll click on this. And you, you log in, you sign in. Um, you can have your parents uh, help you, or if you're a parent, you can get on here and do it for your kids and create a profile. It's free. You just use your email address and a password. And we're going to create a new design. So let's go over here, create something new. I won't drag this out too long. It's pretty awesome. You get in here, there's a tutorial. It takes you through uh, how to work with all this stuff. I've already got this open. Um, you can import stuff. So like the big thing with this is 3D printing. You could import your Minecraft creation to Tinkercad right here, import it, save it, and then you could have some other company 3D print it and send it to you. Now, of course, that's going to cost money. Or if you had a 3D printer at home, which probably most of us aren't fortunate enough to have a 3D printer at home. But if you do, bam, you could just print out your 3D world right there at home. Um, or you could have somebody else do it for you for a price um, from $5 to $500. Depends on the size of the thing that you're going to do. So, but anyways, you can have like your characters printed out. You could have, uh, I, I really want to get like my castle and maybe some, some stuff printed out and we could actually play like Legos. That would be awesome. I don't know how, how big a deal that would be, but let's go over. I can't talk and do things at once. You can scroll in, like zoom in with your mouse wheel. You right click and you can move the plane of the workplace or right here, work plane. You can move it around. Um, and then you'll left click to select things. So anywho, Come over here and let's make something cool. What should we make? Hmm. Maybe we can make some kind of monster and you'll just select these and place them down. Remember, you can zoom in. So we're on a 1.0 grid and you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave it like that. So here's your grid. Let's go ahead and place um, some blocks down. 
Now this appears to be a four by four block, basically, if you look at these squares. And I'm just gonna leave it. You can reshape it, resize it. Okay, you know what, let's, re re let's go down. Let's re reshape it. This brings it up and down through the work plane. You see there now it's floating. So let's go ahead and bring it down, back down to where it was. Hopefully that's where it was. Um, and you can change the height and the size. You can do that. Bring it over there. There we go. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to uh, control C for copy and control V while it was selected, while I was clicked on it. See, now I'm only clicked on this one. I can go back to this one. So basically I copied it. And let's get up here, get a good view here. I'm gonna leave three spaces in between. Oh, I need to bring that over. Oh no, actually. So you can see these lines. All right, there's a line there and there. Watch, see that? Let's do the same with this one. There we go. So now they should be exactly the same. And you see if we zoom in, you got these two blocks here, same here, two blocks there. So anyway, those are good. Those are going to be the feet of our monster. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of select through these. There is some, if you go to Tinkercad on YouTube, uh, they have tutorial videos. So you can watch those, which is awesome. Um, and you can come on here and go through the tutorial and it'll teach you all the stuff that you need to know. And once you get going, it's really cool. So I'm just going to build something real quick. And we'll go through uh, how to export it, import it, and uh, move it to Minecraft, and vice versa. So stay tuned. Let's just kind of fast forward through this part. So I'm, I'll pause through as I go about things. I'm, I'm going to do half the guy. And then I'm gonna select it and just flip it over and then I only had to build half of them instead of building it from the top to bottom. That way it's symmetrical on both sides. We'll see. But here I've got this block selected and you can rotate it with these arrows. I just wanted to point that out. I'm trying to make like this foot thing. Just gotta play with it. There we go. Oh, whoa, that's weird. All right, put it on. I don't know if I like that though. Oh no. If you mess up, you can push this undo button right here and it'll take you back. But I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. Let me try again. Let's rotate it 180 and let's make it smaller. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's like a foot. It's like a foot thing. So there's this foot kind of. I mean, there's so much more you could do. Actually, you know what we could do? Two is we could take this sphere, all right? We place this sphere down. I'm gonna make the sphere smaller. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, do you hold shift? There you go. So hold shift and it'll. I was messing it up. So hold shift and that'll that'll make it better there. I'm gonna bring this. You grab this thingy and that'll go up and down once again. So like that. Kind of like see that? You see that there? But actually, I'm gonna bring it. Should be about the middle and I'm gonna try something so we got this over here you could change the color of these shapes which like red if you if you select all this group it together and make it red and that'll be bricks so that'll come out red bricks in Minecraft uh, MC edit which you can change in MC edit um, which is probably what I'll do uh, or you could just leave them different colors but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a hole then I'm gonna unselect it and now I've got this uh, this hole here and you'll see that once I group it all together and I'll show you that too. So really cool. Um, and I'm gonna make some legs and a body and stuff. Oh, we could have made tracks. Oh, oh well, let's move on. Let's keep doing this. Okay, so right here you see how this is floating um, and I was able to use these arrows to change position of the object but down below it you can see the shadow and so if you're confused just look at the shadow and you'll know where it's at in comparison to the rest of the stuff 
And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring that back a little bit more. This is going to be part of his arm. Uh, let's bring it a little lower. Yeah. And then I'll make his arm. And then we'll just copy it over to the other side. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Of course, 90 degrees is going to be right where you want it. Direct opposite of what it was. Oh, this is so cool. Check that out. All right. We need to make his elbow. Okay, so that just happened to work out. I'm gonna make the elbow, hmm, should I make it bigger or smaller? Um, let's see, we could live stream this even if we want. Like, this is pretty cool. Because uh, you got like these rough edges there. I don't know if I like that or not. I think I like that better. That looks pretty good. I mean, you could spend so much time really working things out on this, but uh, that looks awesome. I'm going to copy that. But anyways, let's do like his, his eyeballs and maybe like an antenna. Oops. Okay, so let me see that. So let me undo. All right, so I accidentally selected them both somehow. So click on this, then hold shift, and you can change the size nice and easy. It'll do it all together. I just thought that this was funny, like for an eyeball. Let's try that. It's got to be somewhat into it. I don't know how this will translate in Minecraft. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Um, I mean, really, we could go, could take this ball and basically make it make a hole inside the inside the eye here. I want to bring it up front so you can see it. Anyways, get it over there. Bring it down a little bit okay so it's right there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that a hole oh yeah oh and really oh we can make the inside of him oh, dudes I'm so excited right now we can make the inside of this guy um oh what did I why are you way over there oh no what did I do uh, I'm just gonna delete it start over let me bring this right here bring it up Let's just, uh, let's make it a hole right now, and then let's move it inside. So let's look around, so at least we know there's a little bit of uh, hollowness inside this, this guy's body here. So he's hollow. I like the way that looks. Um, I'll go ahead and copy it right now. So if we, we start here, select all that, and I'm gonna group, no. How do I, oh. Control copy, Control C to copy, and then Control V. Bam! What? Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to flip this. I'm gonna group that one together. <gasps> So there we did it. We did it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so we got them on there. So you go to adjust. See, I didn't even know this. And mirror, and you can mess with them around. So now that's him basically. It doesn't matter that he's different colors or anything. None of that really matters. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to group it. So there we go. And we've got holes inside of his head. That's a hole there. There it goes. Now it's showing up. Yeah. So we got holes, look at that cut out the feet because I put the ball there and then I made that ball a hole. So it took rid of that mass, it got rid of that space. So this is cool, I like it. Remember, and then I could just, I could 3D print this if I wanted to send this to me. Oh, you know what? We need other stuff done. Let's do a few more things here real quick to it. <laughs> I just think that's, I think that's cool. <laughs> this is like a crazy looking robot. And this is pretty simple, I know. I'm not messing with like exaggerating the, the geometric shapes or anything really. I'm just putting them on there kind of the way they are. Um, but we could make a hole in his mouth. 
Uh, or just leave it. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to see how this turns out in Minecraft. Oh, dude, this is cool. All right, let's do another one of those. So remember to kind of click on this before you push shift, but... This guy's awesome, I gotta say. I like him. I think he's cool. This is like a little crooked right there, too, but... Uh, oh, well. Now I could... We could select all this. Oops. <laughs> we could select all this. And uh, group it together. So now he's all one color. Looks pretty cool. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go to design, we're going to save it. Um, and we're going to download it from Minecraft. One by one, yep, export. And I'm going to name it uh, Robo Billy. Robo Billy! Save! Alright, so we saved it. Uh, we can close this, and then if I go to my designs, let's see. Or if I push this, look at that. Now it says it's got some weird name, but you can basically uh, properties and then we can change it to Robo Billy. Oh, and if I make this public. You guys can come here and you guys can look at the stuff that I made and put and put it in your world if you guys want to use that. And it's just this is kind of cool. It's like Minecraft in itself. Uh, but you have so many cool sculpting options and it's super quick to do. So there he is, Robo Billy. Look at that. You're fancy, Robo Billy. Let's go ahead and make it public. Save. So there's Robo Billy. He's public. Uh, here we are. Um, you can go to the blog and it'll take you to this. And there's a lot of great information here in the blog if you guys have questions for something. Or go to the YouTube videos. Um, Tinkercad has YouTube videos with tutorials. Plus, they're on here. But there's all kinds of cool information. Look at that. This is 3D printed stuff which is cool and so real quick um, I'll show you you click this and you go download for 3d printing and I don't know what that is let me see here oh download for 3d printing if you had your own 3d printer right if you don't have your own 3d printer you're gonna order a 3d print and I like I looked at some of these websites and I like this one we'll click on this one it'll take us uh, over to their place May the Triforce be with you. So we'll continue. So it downloaded the schematics of what you made, which is super cool. And so there's Robo Billy. It's going to come out at, look at that. Anyways, 10, 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 9 centimeters, basically. And you can change it to inches and stuff like that. And it'll cost more the bigger you get it, the smaller you get it. You can even, so this is what I like about this place, you can pick the material. Say I want it to be rubber. So I can give it to my dog as a chew toy or something. I don't know. You might want to look into that. You might not want to do that. But uh, transparent plastic. But I would just pick general purpose. And then uh, and then you go down to where it's going to go. Um, and this is going to be like how many people are near us. Uh, but anywho, 45 bucks. I don't know. That's kind of, look at this, $20 right there. Ben's Hub, 20 bucks. So you get to you get to pick this stuff to ship it to you or whatever. Um, Seventy two miles away. This one's in Phoenix. This one's in Tempe. Um, that is that is really cool. I like that. So go here. I'm gonna print some of this stuff out. We're gonna see how it turns out, and then I'll show you guys what it really looks like. But you're like, okay, now let's get it in the Minecraft world. So you got to go to uh, MC Edit. If you guys don't use MC Edit or don't know what it is, you'll have to watch some videos on that because I am not proficient in MC Edit. I don't know enough about it. Um, but I have been using it. I'm not a pro. So we open up MC edit here. Oh, we go to this right here. Okay. So I tried using it for my, like a shortcut and it didn't work. So I had to go into the file to actually open it, but we bring up MC edit. Okay. I get it. Um, I'm going to go to castle test schematic. These are the worlds down here and bam, check that out. So same kind of thing as CAD here. Tinkercad, right click and you move around like that. Or you can just click once and you kind of got fly mode. 
like as if you're in Minecraft, but this is that castle that I made. It's ginormous. You could change the size of it here, but I want the castle to be huge. I want to upload some other stuff, so you're going to go one of these, import, and I had them go right to my desktop. So here's that uh, cool starfighter thing, and here's Robo Billy. So let's open up Robo Billy, and we're going to place him down. Oh, wow, he is really big. Uh, I'm going to click. Now, he's not there all the way. He's just kind of floating. I, I, I left clicked. I put him into the world, but he's, he's just he's just there. He's not all the way there yet because um, I'd have to push import. So we can rotate him into a different direction. For some reason, it's not working here. So let's quit that. Uh, don't save. Open this back up, I guess. I don't know how. Um, we'll go create new world. Put it in creative. Create. Uh, Robo, save, create. All right, so here we are back in MC Edit. Now, I'm not sure why I did that, um, but basically, you'll if you want it to go into your specific world, you'll have to upload your world to MC Edit. Um, I don't really have any worlds. This is the only one. So let's go ahead and go to import right here, and gotta go to my desktop. There it is. Jeez, wow, that is really big. Um, oh, we could put him in the ocean. Oh, we could put him over here. Let's just click him in the world. See what happens. So I can go over to Nudge. And I can uh, uh, shift, so we'll bring him down into the water. This will keep him over the water. Oops. Let's try that. He's down inside the water. All right, so once he's there, you can go over here, and I'm going to push, let's see, what if I do chunk align like that? Oh, and what if I want to make him smaller? Maybe I should leave him up there and make him smaller. Scale factor. What if I do five? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made it too big. So basically, I want to do uh, <laughs> 0 0.5. So half the scale. So I messed up a little bit. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This robot is huge. Um, all right, come on. I did this. Let's just see what happens. There he is. Okay, so now he's smaller because I did it half the scale. <laughs> oh, but maybe oh, that's too small, don't you think? I think that's too small. So, <laughs> oh my god, I'm crazy. He's here, it's just my computer is something. What is he doing? He's too big. Whoa, like, he's doing his thing. But anyway, if you see Eddie, you go to the Billy, 
you gotta figure out how to just select the whole area. Um, maybe if I uh, go like this, I don't know. There we go. All right, deselect. So I got it that time. Cause I did I get his foot a little bit? No, I didn't. Awesome. So there we go. I did it right that time. And we can do that with the big one. But I'm just gonna let it go out. So basically, I'm gonna push uh, Control S. So Control S will save it in MC Edit. So just cl close out of this. Um, quit. Close that, and you're gonna open up Minecraft. So we're opening up Minecraft, and we're going to see what happens. Single player. So right here we've got Robo, and we created that world basically in MC Edit, and it just transports it right into Minecraft. So let's play Selected World. Oh. Let's go ahead and open that up. Oh. I'm not in creative mode for some reason, and I think I learned how to fix that, but uh, that's not good. Let me get out of here. <gasps> oh, dude, there it is. There's a little one. Okay, so let's go over there. I don't know how to go into creative mode. I guess I got. I don't play PC like survival worlds or PC uh, building. I build everything on Xbox. Um, but now that this is here, I'll probably start learning how to do it because we can make all kinds of crazy stuff. Look at that guy. This is so cool. So this is actual robots. And remember, you can change the colors um, and the and the you can change the material blocks to whatever you want in MC Edit. Um, you know, now that's not perfect because I shrunk it down, but this guy, holy guacamole, it's taken forever to load in. Oh man. Taking over the world. I mean, oh, dude, possibilities are endless. So, anyways, I'll try to get some awesome shots of this here in a little bit on creative, but let's go ahead and exit. Um, and so, here it is. It's Tinkercad, super cool. Remember, and you can upload this stuff and uh, use MC Edit, bring your, your own creations from Minecraft into MC Edit, and then save it as a schematic. Uh, and you can just really do some cool stuff. Now this guy right here, you go to his. He's got a YouTube channel, and he's got all kinds of uh, tutorial videos on there to help you go through all this. This is just super neat. So we're really excited to be using this. I'm glad that Tinkercad found us and asked us to make this video because um, it's really cool. You guys are gonna love it. Squish likes it. So this is a really good introduction to like architect engineering and uh, all kinds of stuff. You're gonna make some cool things, I know it. So if you guys make something cool, please share it with me. If you guys get on here, uh, so I can look it up and maybe I can put it in my world and we can uh, make a subscriber spotlight on on Minecraft or uh, even on Tinkercad. If you guys don't wanna put it in Minecraft and you just wanna show it to me, send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and I'll look at it and we'll get in here and we'll showcase some awesome builds because that's really neat. So I wanna see what you guys can come up with. Leave in the comment section below if you want me to come up with stuff. And don't forget to check out the description. I'll leave a link to all this stuff up here uh, to the YouTube channel and to the website so you guys can go check it out and you don't have to worry about remembering what to go to. Um, so be sure to look in the description and leave me any comments. This stuff's pretty awesome. I'll try to get some cool clips of the castle and the uh, robot that I made, but super awesome, super easy to use, and a lot of fun. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. And until next time, pinball out. Thank you.